just cut it. Cut the music, man. Cut the music. Being a YouTuber is not as easy as people think it is. Besides the late nights of editing, you know, trying to come up with a new video every day, we all make mistakes. And I made a mistake which I've probably made at least a hundred times since I started my YouTube career or life or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I filmed myself unboxing, I think it was five different packages. Filmed it, I left it on my camera on the memory card obviously, and I filmed it two days ago. I filmed it before I went to the Jordan event yesterday. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna post this after the Jordan event because the Jordan event is probably gonna be more hyped, it'll probably be, be a better video. And then today, when I went to go start editing it, I realized that when I went to the Jordan event before I started filming, I formatted the card and all that footage is completely gone. So I don't have a video for today, but I still wanna show you guys what I unboxed. So I decided to turn on the camera and now I have a video for today, but it's not as good as it was going to be because it was unboxing, but now I'm just kind of showing you stuff. So I can't even say hit the intro because technically this isn't what's in the box. It's what's outside of the box. Let me stop myself there because I'm talking too much. I got a few things. I wanna show them to you guys like I usually do because that's what I do a lot of on this channel. <laughs> Okay, before I officially started like sneaker YouTubing, every once in a while on this channel, I would do like a monthly pickup video where I would just show you guys everything from sneakers to clothing of all my pickups. And that was kind of my way to test out whether or not that type of content was good on my channel. And surprisingly, those videos did really good and that's what really inspired me to start Crew Kicks, which, which was my uh, third channel my sneaker channel, which I don't really upload anymore on but I'm gonna be bringing it back next month Yes, I'm actually bringing it back a thousand percent So this is kind of gonna be like that since I'm not technically doing an unboxing anyway This really wasn't an unboxing, but it was one of my more recent pickups It's this off-white sweatpants and it's got that signature off-white like um, caution strap I guess on the side but I got these from Barney's and the reason why I'm showing it to you guys is because I feel like the new off-white collection for spring is just fire so if you guys want me to show you guys all the pieces that I've picked up because I've picked up a few things actually let me know and I'll do like a little lookbook video but I really really need to know if you guys want to see it so I need you to comment down below or hit that thumbs up also I got another box logo hoodie I'm like 95% sure I didn't show you guys this but then I kind of feel like I did show you guys this but in case I didn't show it to you guys I'm gonna pull it out right now I only got this one for $600 so shout out to the homie Samir for hooking me up he's the same guy that hooked me up with the LV Supreme hoodie for a steal so he hooked me up with this hoodie for a steal too really really appreciate it it's super clean this is my favorite color from all of the, the box logo hoodies that dropped this past season you know your boy had to get another one so shout out shout out to the homie the Jordan Levi's reversible jacket as you guys know the Levi 4s were released last week Your boy was blessed with a pair from Jordan brand my friends over at Jordan brand I love the red detail on the sleeve right here It's like a windbreaker material and it goes crazy with the denim and then on top of you know Like the flight logo on the back it is reversible so you can wear it with just the black windbreaker With the denim on the collar and then the jump man right there like this jacket is fire And I needed it and I got to give a huge shout out to my homies over at the fix kicks a Bay Area store I'm from the Bay Area and I don't really shop too many places in the Bay when it comes to like sneakers and stuff like that the fix kicks is one of the places I go to so if you're ever in the Bay Area and you are in the San Jose slash Santa Clara area or like around that area make sure you guys check out the fix kicks they've got a crazy collection of sneakers for sale and dope items like this and other hype stuff so shout out to fix kicks I was just chilling and I was like you know what I really really want these you know what I'm saying I've, I've hated on LeBron a few times on social media but at the end of the day I respect greatness. I give respect where respect is due. LeBron James is currently the 
the best player in the world. Stop it. His team is not the best team in the world, but he, as an individual, he's a pretty good basketball player. His one through eight sneakers were just amazing. This is one sneaker where it's like, this is history. These did re-release recently from Nike, Nike Retro Ds, and this is the Zoom Generation 1, which is LeBron's first signature shoe. I don't know why didn't they just call it the LeBron one. I guess it's one of those questions will never get answered but or maybe it has been answered and I just don't know maybe I'll have to phone a friend and ask Harris but yeah this colorway is sick I also have it in the white colorway and I was like you know what I really like it it felt like it was I didn't have these when they originally came out not that they were limited or anything it's just you know your boy was broke now that they re-released they weren't going for too much they were $190 it came out to $200 I got these off of goat so I was like um second second sneaker pickup of the year was gonna be this one so this is yeah this is my second sneaker of the year lebron one or lebron zoom generation whatever you want to call it as you guys know i did go to under armor not too long ago last weekend actually and my under armor family they showed me a few things and i had a pair of sneakers that i could not show you but now i can officially show you and they actually sent me more pairs of that sneaker. Under Armour has introduced their new shoe. It's called the Hover or Hover, or I don't really know what the exact pronunciation is, but um, it says that on the shoe. I am not even lying to you guys. I'm not saying this because I got the shoes out from Under Armour directly. These boys are comfortable. The low top is super, super comfortable. This is my new gym shoe. And yes, I go to the gym. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm not lying this time. The diet has already started. Obviously, you've got your knitted upper. That's very popping these days with all types of shoes from casual wear to performance wise. So they killed it with the upper. The midsole is very, very cool. This looks like a floppy disk, uh, like you could put a floppy disk in there. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure like none of you guys even know what the hell a floppy disk is. The high top version that came in this very, very clean package. And yes, Blake Wynn, I just watched your video and I did get it too, so. Uh. This packaging is pretty dope. The whole theme around the shoe is gravity, zero gravity. That's why it says it at the top, zero gravity. Now I've already opened these, so the shoes are all over the place, but I wanna give you an example of what this box does. You just press it and it pops open. So this is the high top version of the hover, which, oh crap. All right, this shoe's stuck. So. This is the high top version of the Hover, and this is like an all red colorway. These are super, super comfortable too, but I would say the low tops, in my personal opinion, are a little bit more comfortable. I would say that's a performance shoe, and this is more of a casual wear. So that's just my opinion, but I'm pretty sure you can still like run in these if you want. But again, you've got that knitted upper. I wish they gave me another colorway. And it's not that I don't like this colorway, it's just that they already gave me a pair. So now I have two of these red colorways. So the not only did they bless me with sneakers, but they blessed Bay with sneakers. So they sent Mina a pair as well. She got these low top joints right here. She got the gray with the marble midsole. And then she got some special packaging too because she got like this foam packaging and she got this colorway. And this colorway is clean, the all white colorway. It kind of honestly looks like a cream colorway, not just like a straight white colorway. But unfortunately, Under Armour, if you guys are watching this, you sent her the wrong size. You guys sent her a size six on both of them. So yeah, she can't she can't fit these. So she has a size six in the low tops and then a size six in the high tops. So uh, Under Armour, I'm gonna hit you guys up. I'm gonna text you guys and I'm gonna tell you guys that uh, that like her she's a size seven. But we really do appreciate it for you guys to send out not not only sneakers for me but for her. And I guess I could kind of hint at this, but in the near future. We are going to be starting a channel just for Mina because, you know, there's not too many females in the streetwear slash sneaker world of YouTube. And I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for her to be able to, you know, review and show different products for the female consumer. Because as you guys know, like we just went to that Jordan brand event, Jordan is moving in the direction of having certain sneakers just for women. So, Obviously, they're looking for more influencers and stuff like that who are females who would do product reviews and stuff like that. So, um, Mina's channel will be coming soon. So, stay tuned for that. We're going to be promoting it crazy. That was a lot of talking right there. Okay, yeah. So, that is pretty much all the stuff that I originally 
unboxed, but it, like I said, I deleted it. Tomorrow, I leave to Philly, which I'm super, super excited about. Your boy's going to the Royal Rumble. I cannot wait to be out there in Philly. Let me know how the weather is out there. Tweet me and let me know how the weather is because your boy's gonna pack. Now, other than that, I'm not gonna ramble on too long. I just wanna end this vlog by saying please subscribe. If you have not joined the crew already, I don't know what you are doing with your life because this is the hottest hype beast channel on YouTube. That's right, I said it. No, I'm kidding. I'm not I'm not taking that title. I've actually been thinking of dropping the biggest hype beast on YouTube title. One, because too many people have been saying it. Two, because I just think it's time to move on from that. And three, because just kidding. <laughs> your boy's the hype beast world champion. Anyway, yeah, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. And one more time before we leave, quick plug for Crep Protect, the best sneaker cleaner in the world. You know your boy gotta get that plug in. No, real talk, I'm taking this with me to Philly because if it is snowing or raining, this gonna keep my shoes clean. So yeah, we out of here guys. Thank you for watching. I'm out, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. <laughs>